Welcome back. Well, season 52 is known for extraordinary food that just happens to be under 475 calories. Every dish on the menu. Their menu also changes from week to week to ensure the freshest, freshest ingredients are in season. And Chef Cassie Presley is here to amaze us with a tasty dish. Everything I've ever had at Seasons 52 has been fantastic. Well, that's good. We, we definitely make sure that we're going for flavor, and we also uh, want to make sure that you're happy and you're also eating well. Yeah. You're not even thinking about it. And you were saying that a lot of um, the menu items, all the menu items, are organic? We predominantly organic. Yeah. And everything is under 475 calories, like you mentioned So before. is that for a fourth of a cup of food, or what? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's a whole plating of food, yeah. as you'll see at the end of the segment. <laughs> A whole plating of food. I'm so excited. So you're doing something we could we could this would be a great if you're doing a Father's Day brunch. Absolutely. We're gonna to do to uh, corn on the cob with a chili sour cream rub and we're also gonna do cedar plank salmon. All of these items you can do at the house. Okay. And it takes absolutely nothing special. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, we do our natural products is what we use here. Uh, you take for instance a corn on the cob, we bake it in the oven for approximately 30, 45 minutes, and then we're gonna take it and peel it. And, and clear it you out. You bake it in the in the shuck. We bake it in the shuck to hush. ensure the mush, the moistness. You want to keep it as moist as possible, and then you want to clean it. Do you put any oil or anything on it? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. I'd be afraid that this it. would get all fried, but it doesn't. In no, the oven? actually, it doesn't. There's a product right there. It mm -hmm. absolutely okay. doesn't. See, and and what's the temperature again? Uh, we try to do 350 degrees in okay. the oven, all right. approximately 35 to 45 minutes. All right, and that gets it the perfect. At perfect, perfect temperature, and okay. then if you'd like to caramelize it on the grill, then you may do so. Heat it up, get some caramelization on it, make it look absolutely great. And then we're going to take a chili rub. Okay, let's do the chili rub. Top. How do you okay, do Okay, the chili rub, we're going to take some sour cream here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got mayo, we've got uh, salt, and we've got a chili rub that we're going to add to it. So the idea is you can use some more fattening ingredients, like, say, mayonnaise, but you just use it very sparingly, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, of course, it's all according to your taste. And we've got fresh lime zest, and we take the fresh lime and we squeeze it in as well with fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. And this is our finished product here. I would like for you ladies to try it here. Okay. So give it a shot, see what you, you go, care for. Oh, that's it's got good. some great flavor mm -hmm. without the calories. You can taste the chili. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, and I can taste the lime, and I love so that. You just, mm -hmm. So you just lime, brush this? Lime, so Where is that so going to go? This is going to go on the corn. Oh. And what happens on the corn is you're going to take a brush, and you're going to brush your corn. Make sure you get an even coverage, coast to coast. You get some great flavor in there. Once it comes off the grill, be nice and smoky. And what you're going to do, once you've got it coated very well, you're going to take some grated Parmesan cheese. Grated Parmesan cheese, and you're going to add it to the corn. Fresh Parmesan. All over. Fresh Parmesan. Not craft in that. Absolutely not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and we're going to add it to it, and your finished product oh, is going to look goodness. extremely coated. So when you go in to you want taste me to grab it, that for you? it's going to be absolutely, thank you. It's going to be a great flavor. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And look how coated it is. So we've taken the husk and we've peeled it back and we've tied it and put it on the grill. So you've got a great everything. presentation. And how long do you, you grill it? Uh, according, probably about five, ten minutes. Okay. And really according to how much caramelization you'd like on that corn. All right. Ah, so That's it looks fantastic. fantastic. So this is your corn, product. and then you want to move to the salmon. Right, we want to do the cedar plank salmon. You go to uh, any local grocery. Our salmon right now is coming out as uh, chili. And so Why? Why didn't it come out of Alaska or someplace? Well, like? right now we're contracted for chili. Oh, and that's okay. got the best salmon coming out. It does? Deep water. Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to any grocery store and buy a cedar plank. Mm -hmm. And you want to soak it in water for about 24 hours. Oh, okay. To make sure or you get it the will flavor. catch on fire. That's right. <laughs> yeah, right. And <laughs> I've done that before. And you've got the flavor coming out as well. And uh, so what we've made was a mustard marinated. And we've added some blackening seasoning to it. And you want to top it on top of your fresh salmon. Now, am I right? Can mustard, when marinade? you cook it, cooks out it. the flavor of mustard. In Absolutely. other words, yeah, it Absolutely. cooks out. And you're gonna, what you're doing with it is you're coating oh, it, good. and it's going to seal your flavors. So it's going to make it extremely juicy. Anyway. So it's, it's like a Dijon mustard just with your blackening seasoning. Absolutely. It's fantastic. You want to make sure you got your mustard marinade and some extra virgin olive oil as well. And then you're going to top it off with some salt and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper for flavor. And then once you want to do that, you want to put this in your oven. You can cook it in your oven at home at 3. Oh, 50 great. 75, and you want to make sure you've got an internal temperature of at least 145 degrees, ladies. For your salmon. For your salmon. Can we taste this one? Yes, that looks just beautiful. And the, and your beautiful the vegetables, 
Yes, those are your golden beets, your asparagus. All of those items are blanched with the carrots. Where are you getting those cold. beets? Uh, we're going down to the farmer's market and we're getting those beets. I want to say something. Mm. So many people say, oh, I hate beets. You have no idea what you're missing if you just have a roasted beet, no vinegar in it, no pickling. So it bad. is absolutely and delicious. And you know you're getting fresh fish when it doesn't taste fishy. But absolutely why would fantastic. you eat fish if you don't want it to taste fishy? <laughs> I never want fish to taste fishy. It <laughs> means it's bad. That. If you're eating fishy tasting fish, it's not good fish. Well, what? Everyone knows that. So you yeah, sometimes you soak it in sweet milk, don't you? That takes oh, out the so fishy good. taste. You can, but if you're doing that, it's probably not as fresh as it should be. Now, would mm. you recommend? See, now would you recommend cutting this, <laughs> cutting this off no, of the cob? Absolutely, we do have some guests. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're gonna, gonna, you can go to jail for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Chad Johnson, right? Some of our guests do request it off the cob, and we're more than happy to do so. For some mm -hmm. people who. Absolutely, are so sophisticated. They won't, don't want to eat. Oh that well, that's not us around here. Let's it doesn't it. affect my <laughs> Paula. Bite into that, are you? <laughs> I'm. Can I bite into it? She's like, you're not going to bite into that. Are, should I not? That. I want to see no? you do it. No. Oh, because you made oh, it this morning. Her, you want to okay. see her do it? Where's the other one that we made? Underneath as well. You're you're but, determined you're going to eat this. Well, I mean that's the solid. But about, ladies, right? we I want some. we've also come on got over here, Courtney. The blanched vegetables. Can I have the beets? Absolutely. We take those beets and we roast them in the oven with with our water and our ginger. I look like a Springs savage a eating flavor. this huge thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little cold there. <laughs> it's really good though. Um, are you going to share? That's a great, um, you're doing a Father's Day barbecue. This is the menu. That's definitely the menu. And then, menu. of course, don't forget the desserts, if you'd like too. To indulgent That's desserts. So bad. If you'd like to check out their menu or make reservations online, start by going to dthebroadcast.tv. Well, Just well, click on today's links. Whoa, this is so good. I'm going to try Absolutely. dessert, too. Is that okay? <laughs> Absolutely. And those are our mini indulgence. I love it. Everything, you're not going to feel like a big...